Random House Audio presents Cherries in Winter. This is Suzanne Cologne. For Mom, Dad, and Nathan. January 2009, Hudson County, New Jersey. You know what you have to do now, my mother tells me. You have to put up soup. Put up soup. That's what my family says when times get tough. Some people batten down the hatches, others go to the mattresses. Whatever your family's code phrase is, it means bracing yourself and doing whatever will sustain you through rough going until things get better. In my family, we put up soup. That isn't just a saying, though. It means actually getting out a big, heavy pot, like the old black cast iron one my grandparents made stew in, and cooking up something thick and hearty that will stick to your ribs, put meat on your bones, or any of the other expressions that, as a child, I thought were gross. Food sticking to my ribs? Ew! But that, as an adult, I understand and find comforting. So you get out your pot, and you get beans, a ham hock, a can of tomatoes, salt, pepper, a bay leaf, meat if you can afford it, clams if you're near water and can dig them out at low tide like my grandpa did, raking them out of the muck and putting them in a plastic laundry basket with an inner tube around it to keep it afloat, the whole contraption tied to his waist. If there's no meat or fish, vegetables and potatoes will do. When the soup is done, you serve it with some bread if you have it, and you wait for things to get better. They have before, and they will again. My family knows all about putting up soup. We've had lots of practice, but I haven't had to do it in a while, so I need a recipe. It has to be here somewhere. I'm tossing our basement like a thief, though only a thief with very practical or eccentric tastes, or both, would be interested in what's down here. I push aside the bales of toilet tissue and paper towels that my sensible husband Nathan buys from one of those huge box stores that feed into our stock-the-bunker mentality. Once you cross the state line from New York to New Jersey, you buy in bulk. Under the paper goods are storage trunks holding clothes for better and worse weather. Another box is full of paperbacks, the novels for teenagers that I'd written a few years ago. I got extras in case literary agents, editors, or anyone else might want to see them. Like the toilet paper, they're in large supply. Next box, my husband's old toy truck collection. I have a passing thought about what we could get for them on eBay and lingering guilt over the... Sample complete. Ready to continue?